Hi everyone! Ooh, am I excited and happy to be bringing you this video. Milani was so kind to send over the new Color Fetish Shine lipsticks, all of the shades in the range. I'm going to swatch these for you, I'm going to apply them on the lips, and then I'm going to give you a first impressions review of the formula, how they apply, how they feel, etc. So these are currently available on Milani's website to purchase. I'll put a link in the description box below to where you can find them. I think I may also have a discount coupon, maybe 50 15% off or whatever I can access for you, I will put there in the description box also. And on top of that, if you're going to purchase these online, which is the only place they're available currently, then make sure you sign up for Rakuten first because on top of whatever discount you get, you can also get cash back if you're shopping through Rakuten. So in maybe a month or so, these will probably pop up in other retailers that sell Milani, but for right now, they are only available through Milani's website. They retail for $8.99 each. There are a total of 12 shades, and like I said, I have all the shades available to show you. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can follow Lura Beauty on Instagram. Also, the giveaway for November, which includes great skincare, makeup, and some beautiful candles from actually a fellow subscriber, are all up for grabs to win. So I'll link that video in the upper right-hand corner for you to check out and enter if you haven't already. The next video coming up is going to be a very comprehensive all price ranges gifting guide, and I focus on people who are difficult to give gifts for. So I do not do a typical, here's a bunch of makeup that I like to give to other people. I actually focus more on products that uh, are accessible to a much wider range of people than just makeup suggestions. So if that at all interests you for all price ranges, that is the next video coming up. Make sure you watch and stay tuned. So what are these new lipsticks? Milani says that these are sheer to medium coverage, ultra moisturizing balm like lipsticks with an 85% blend of nourishing oils, glides on effortlessly leaving lips moisturized with a lustrous pop of color. The creamy lustrous shine high comfort formula wears like a lip stick but melts onto your lips like your favorite balm which may be perfect for this upcoming cold winter season to really nourish and hydrate the lips these products are vegan and cruelty free milani has been doing such a great job recently immediately people have noticed the amazing packaging on these lipsticks so before you even are opening them to look at the lipstick itself it's very, very cool packaging. Each of the tubes is colored differently to reflect the shade of the lipstick inside. And just in general, Milani has been releasing a lot of great things lately. If you haven't seen the last video I did for them for their new cream blushes, I'll also link that in the upper right hand corner for you to check out. So you can see these, how many sides is this? One, two, three, four, five. So what is that? Is that a hexagon? <laughs> Hexagonal shapes and ridges. Uh, raised and depressed sides all around the tube. They are plastic. They pop open like this. They have a gold metallic tube in the middle. Twist up. And for the price, you're going to get three grams of product or 0.1 ounces. Oh, and since many of you ask, I'm trying to be better about noting the color on my nails. This is another Zoya polish, and this is in the shade Tulip. Um, I will, if it's still available, I'll put a link in the description box to where you can find this shade. First shade up is 110 Lustful, 120 Fantasy, 130 Fantasy, 140 Crave, 150 Roleplay, 160 Voyeur, 170 Kink, 180 seduce 190 is covet 200 bitten 210 nylon and 220 tied up all right first up is the shade lustful this is a pinky slightly mauvey nude Second is Fantasy, and this is a medium, softer, mauvey berry shade. Third is Lingerie, and this one is a medium yellow based pink. Fourth is Crave, 
and this one is more of a it's actually like a lighter neony coral next is role play and this is more of a fiery coral meaning it's much more red based next up is voyeur this one is a very bright super kind of barbie-ish pink kink is another very playful color it's a kind of like a lavender violet purple but again with almost like a neon tone to it next up is seduce and this is a red shade although it has kind of a soft carnation tone to it so there's like a slight pink undertone to it next up is covet and this is more of a berry toned pink next is bitten this is a deeper most kind of wine toned purple next shade is nylon and this one is a deeper almost slightly dusty mauve beautiful color and the last up is tied up and this one is more of a caramel nude. Again, with a slight gray undertone to it. All right, there are your 12 very pretty shades from the new Color Fetish Shine lipstick range. So you see that they all have really great color. There is some opacity because that formula truly is bomb-like. So let's see, we'll see in just a second how they apply on the lips, if there's any sort of patchiness. But you can see that kind of glossy sheen, very good pigmentation on these, very distinct and noticeable differences in the colors. They go on really smoothly and the even the bullets, they are super soft. So you probably saw on several of them, kind of the tip of the bullet even kind of crush off. So just be aware. You're going to be wearing these probably through the colder months, but in the summertime, be careful leaving these in your car, in the hot car or hot purse, because they may melt on you. And let's do kind of a swipe test. So you can see that top layer comes right off. It is very, very moisturizing feeling, but these are not going to be like a stain. They're not going to be um, transfer proof or uh, smudge proof. Speaking of stain, let's see with the makeup wipe test. Oh yeah, on some of those deeper, brighter shades, you can probably expect to get some staining on those, which in my book is a bonus. All right, so as I show you these swatches on the lips, I'm gonna give you my thoughts after having tried all 12 shades on. First, I will say there is a fragrance to this lipstick. It has kind of a sweet, maybe fruity scent. I'm not sure. Um, you do notice it, but I don't notice it once I've applied the lipstick on my lips, which in my opinion is a good thing. The formula is 100% balm-like. These just slip across the lips when you are applying them and they are super nourishing. So if you have lips that crave any sort of moisture, this is a fantastic formula option for you. They remind me of a few different formulas in other brands. Uh, if you are a lover of the now discontinued Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters, this formula reminds me of that. I think they are even more balm-like, and I think they have more pigmentation than those did. But take that with a grain of salt because it's been many years since I tried that formula. They also remind me of a more recent Revlon release, which people commented reminded them of the previous Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters, which is Revlon's current and not discontinued super lustrous glass shine lipsticks. Another formulation of lipsticks that I really like. And if you're also a fan of the MAC Huggable Lip Colors, these also have a similar formula. All that is to say, these slip and glide across the lips effortlessly because they do have a less than 100% opaque 
color to them. You do spend a little bit of time, especially with a couple of the colors, although this didn't happen as much as I thought it would, but you're gonna find yourself kind of adding more layers. And sometimes, you know, if you press your lips together, you'll come out with a little bit of an evenness that you then have to add more color to, to even it out. But at the end of the day, once you're done applying, I don't see any issues. Even when I press my lips together or rub my lips together, I don't seem to see any issues with major streaking or really any visible unevenness. So these feel really comfortable, really nice on the lips. I think it's a great formula. I guess the only downside to this is these are not going to be transfer resistant or smudge resistant, and therefore they're not going to be super long wearing. So if you are wearing a mask, if you are uh, talking a lot, if you're eating or drinking, certainly these will transfer and you will need to reapply them throughout the day. In the comment section below, if you have one or two or three that you really particularly like and chip out to you, let me know in the comment section below which ones those are. Let me know if you're excited about this formula, any other thoughts you have about this new product. And since Milani's been doing such a good job with new releases lately, let me know what product you would like to see them release next, and maybe they will. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, if it helped you out in determining which shades you want to purchase. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video.